When a person is experiencing heat cramps, they usually have painful muscle spasms in legs or abdomen. When this happens, make sure to move them to a cold place, give them Gatorade, Powerade along with water, lightly stretch the muscles and gently massage the area. Make sure they do not take salt tablets because this would worsen their condition. Encourage them to drink more fluids even after they feel better. Ah, I'm cramping. You need to drink Gatorade slowly with water and massage out the soreness. Move out of the sun. <laughs> Here's what you can look for in a person that might be going through heat exhaustion. They might have cool, moist, pale skin, a headache, have nausea, dizziness, or might be weak. Here's what to do. Move them out of the heat. Loosen or remove clothing so they feel more fresh. Apply cool wet cloths to the body. Remoisten the cloths periodically. If the person is able to swallow, give him or her small amounts of water slowly. Gatorade will also suffice. If the person vomits or passes out, call 911 and keep their airway open. To see if a person has frostbite, check for swelling, the skin will appear waxy, the skin will be cold to a touch or discolored, more serious frostbite include blisters. They will also lack the feeling in affected areas. Here's what to do. Remove the wet clothing or jewelry from the affected area. Never rub the damaged area. Do not rewarm if there is a chance of refreezing and gently soak the affected area in warm water. Keep the body part in water for 20 to 30 minutes or until the skin returns to normal color and feels warm. Insect stings can occur at any time at any place. Here's what to look for. Check for the presence of the insect stinger. They will have pain, there will be swelling around the area, and they will show signs of an allergic reaction. Here's how you can help. Remove the stinger by scraping the skin with a clean fingernail, a plastic card, or tweezers. Make sure to wash the area with soap and water. Cover the site and keep it clean. Apply cold pack and call 911 if the person starts having trouble breathing. You never know when you'll run into poisonous plants. Here's some to avoid. Poison ivy, poison sumac, and poison oak. Here's what to do. Remove the exposed clothing and wash the affected area thoroughly with soap and water as soon as possible. If a rash or weeping sore begins to develop, put a baking soda and water paste on the area several times a day. Make sure to keep calamine lotion and Benadryl at reach if this happens. Make sure the person sees their healthcare provider if the condition worsens. After you're done washing, change your clothes and wash them. <laughs> oh, I'm cramping. <laughs> you need to drink the Gatorade and Wait, some water. Are we, are we some